Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Star Flames. If you're new here, be sure to subscribe to my channel, turn on your notification bell, and join the family. Guys, listen, Kylie Jenner does not want her mom, Kris Jenner, in a relationship. <laughs> listen, when I heard this news, I was like, it actually makes sense. No, according to source, Kylie is taking instructions from Kendall Jenner and she's keeping Kris Jenner at bay out of her relationship. As a matter of fact, it is said that Timothy Chalamet was like to Kylie, listen, I'm in love with you, <laughs> not your mom. I don't hate your mom, but I'm not in love with her. And that is something that we all can understand because what do we all know? When Kris Jenner is involved in the relationships, they do not work out. And that is why we see Kylie has been keeping really close to her sister, Courtney and Kendall, because Courtney, you know, she has developed the structure to keep Kris Jenner away out of her marriage. When Kris Jenner asks, so what is Travis going to eat? Courtney's like, listen, mom, that's none of your problem. And that's, that is why I don't let you guys in, because when I let you guys in, you overstep your boundaries. Chloe, sorry, Courtney is keeping healthy boundaries with her family. She does have a relationship, but they're not involved in her marriage. She, They do have dinner with a family. Travis Scott, Courtney, they'll have dinner with a family. They go to all the parties and the gatherings together as a family. But when it comes to Courtney's marriage, Kim, Chris, they are not included. They cannot say, um, you know, that the last time we saw Kim, you know, asking Courtney, are you sure that you're happy? And that was the, you know, nail in the coffin for Courtney. Courtney was like, okay, we're not going to talk about my relationship. We're not going to talk about my marriage. So Courtney and Kendall Jenner is coaching Kylie to do very much the same because they see where when the mom is not so involved in the relationship, it tends to be a bit healthier. And it is said that Kylie does have regrets as it relates to Travis Scott. She sees where, you know, things that have gone wrong on her side as well as his side. So she's not just pushing the blame on Travis. Hmm. Talking about maturing, right? No. One thing we all have known about Kendall ever since Kendall was small, and that is we could always see that Kendall is this girl. She always knew who she was, what she was about, what she wants out of life. With Kylie, Kylie was that girl who was not so sure. Kylie always gave the sense that she just want to look pretty, you know? And we can even see this until this day. So Kylie is really getting some, you know, advice, some tips from the sisters who seems to be a bit more stable in their relationship. And she's applying that in her relationship with Timothy Chalamet. Yes, guys, it is said that they're very much still together. They've had a few hiccups, but they're working on it. Last weekend, they were spotted leaving a restaurant in New York City. No, um, when I saw that report, because there was no photographs, you know, I said that I'm not going to talk about it because sometimes when you talk about these things, people may think that, oh, you're making it up, even though the media outlets are talking about it. But since I'm doing this video, you know, I just wanted to add some context, give it some texture there so that you guys can relate in case any of you had seen the article from last week. Now, in the article, it said that Timothy Chalamet and Kylie Jenner, they were very much into each other. They were touchy, touchy, touchy and all of that, you know, seems like a young couple who is deeply in love. Now, I really can understand if that is what Kylie is doing, if she's following what, you know, her sister Kendall is doing. Because if you look into it, even though Kendall, you know, she has been around the block quite a few times. I'm going to keep it real. But there's one thing we've never heard about Kendall is that, you know, even if the relationship that she's in is messy, it's unpleasant, it's not giving, we never hear anything about that. We'll hear that Kendall and XYZ has, has broke things off. We'll hear that they're back together. 
you know, minute stuff like that. But with Kylie, we're always hearing Kylie's business. And why are we always hearing Kylie's business? Chris Jenner, of course. Remember, this is a lady who said that she was planning and creating a show wherein, you know, her daughters would hear their dirty laundry about their dating life and all of that. So you know that Chris Jenner doesn't have a boundary. She does these things, you know, to keep the family trending, to get them, you know, the brand deals and to make the money. But also at the same time, while they're making the money, they're sacrificing their hearts. They are being happy they have you know all the beautiful things in the world that they could ask for but at the same time the beautiful things and the money and the plastic surgery it really doesn't complete them because every you know at the end of the day honey a woman needs to be held she needs to be hugged she needs to be touched especially someone as young as kylie you know because it's not as though she has had like that experience under her belt under her belt she really hasn't been with anyone for you know that long period of time kylie really jumped into the dating scene with tyga tyga was much older she was so young she was a baby she was vulnerable and you know tyga cheated we've seen her basically you know playing out her emotions on their family reality tv series we have seen some of it with Travis Scott and Kylie doesn't want to make the same mistakes a third time and who would want to because if you do like are you really learning you know <laughs> at that point so you know I have to say if this is what Kylie's doing you know what kudos to her kudos to that girl but the question is is this enough to give her a long-term relationship with Timothy Chalamet because remember one thing we've heard from Pete and the men who date these sisters and that, they are highly insecure. They have this consistent need to be validated. Do I look beautiful? I don't feel beautiful. I don't think I look beautiful. And we can see that as it relates to Kylie, she does have her insecurities about her face, even though no one can fix Kylie's face better than Kylie. <laughs> I'm not kidding. When Kylie does her makeup, honey, it's just flawless it's stunning that girl can do her makeup to look like anything she wants to so i mean you know we can tell she has some um, insecurities as it relates to how she changes the face a lot how she plays around with the body a lot no make no mistakes we all have insecurities but you know you have the low the medium and the high you know most people are somewhere between I have to say the low and the medium. And I think the Kardashians are in the high when it comes to um, insecurity because if you're not insecure about yourself, why would you be getting so many plastic surgeries and then lie to the public and say, I haven't got any surgery or I haven't done to my face, done anything to my face or I haven't gotten a plastic surgery on my face. That is a form of insecurity and that is high, a high level of insecurity. So. What I was saying is this, guys, we know the men have always dished a little bit about the woman, right? And from that, we can tell that the girls have their insecurities. Um, making reference, going back to, um, Chloe Kardashian. Remember Chloe told us that she started getting plastic surgery, you know, when, she, uh, when, um, Lamar, sorry, not Tristan, because we know Tristan has always been a cheater, right? She said that when things didn't work out with her and Lamar Odom, you know, that's the time she basically self-soothed with plastic surgery so you know that you know that's a form of insecurity and it does happen especially when people you know end up getting a divorce some people they cut their hair they change their wardrobe some people they you know fix their nose some people get a brow lift Chloe decided that she wanted 360 honey she wanted the full 360 and she went for it and you know the nose was a bit crooked the nose was a bit crooked right not gonna lie Chloe's nose is very crooked but when she lines it up with the makeup it really does look good so I'm just saying you know these girls have insecurities which kind of makes it hard for men to stay with them it takes a strong man to stay with women like those like yeah he was strong he was grounded you know even though he used to throw him a lot <laughs> yeah was kim scarborough you know that man that man loved kim hard and he trolled her equally 
He trolled her hard, loved her hard. But at the end of the day, I think that it really takes a really strong man to be with women like those. And I think that Kylie needs someone that was a bit more matured than her. Not much older, but just a bit more mature than her. Make no mistakes. Timothy Chalamet is wiser than his, than his years. When I listen to that guy speak and, you know, how he talks about himself and how people reference to him, you get that he's automatically a bit of an old soul, but he's still a young and right because, as we can see, he really does love, love to have a good sexy time. But the thing is, is he ready for the burden? Is he ready for the responsibility of Kylie's insecurity? You know, that can be a lot for someone of his age to juggle with. So I guess maybe that's the reason why they want to keep Chris Jenner at bay because, you know, Chris Jenner loved to pressure these men too into marrying the girls. Like, are you getting married? This is why she wants, um, Chloe to stay with Tristan Thompson because he, she knows that Tristan Thompson gave Chloe a ring and they're just a step away from walking down the aisle if they haven't done it as yet secretly. So we know that Chris Jenner loves to push the girls like, are you going to marry her? Are you going to marry her? And maybe that's what Kylie and Timothy Chalamet wants to avoid. But Chris Jenner is a snake, you know, she's a snake. And when the snakes are this old, you have to really and truly be careful of them because these snakes will get you and they will get you so good that you don't even realize that they have gotten you until it's too late because we see Chris Jenner over there and she is going to Timothy Chalamet's page and she's liking and she's commenting you know because he's an A-list celebrity <laughs> Chris Jenner and her daughter Kylie <laughs> not so much <laughs> we know David Poitney said they are dirty A-list celebrities many people have them down in the D class and all of that but I'm just saying Chris Jenner knows that Timothy Chalamet will be looking good for the family so I believe that she's gonna you know try to play it safe but but while overstepping her boundaries but anyway guys that's all I have to say about that for this video let me know what are your thoughts? And while you're at it, give this video a big thumbs up. Share if you care. Stay safe. Stay sweet. Stay blessed. And see you guys later. Bye, guys.